Hey everyone, it's your our forever LEGO Studios. Welcome back to another LEGO review. I almost said LEGO Star Wars. Uh, LEGO review, and today's review is going to be on the Beware the Vulture set, which is based off of Spider-Man Homecoming, which if you haven't seen that movie, definitely go check it out because it's an amazing movie. Definitely one of the cooler Marvel movies I've seen in a while. Um, so, as you know, I bought this in, uh, in Indiana. Um... Like a week ago, I've had it built and all that, but I, I wanted to do a review, and I decided to do it today because I just got back from Champagne, um, for a few days, um. So I, yeah, and if those who are wondering, like, why haven't I posted many videos, that is why because I have been gone since Tuesday, uh, not Tuesday, Wednesday, um, and I got back Saturday. So I've had a busy couple weeks, but now. I have I found time to do the review. I meant to do it Tuesday. Um, that didn't happen. Then I thought of doing it Wednesday, but again, it didn't happen. Uh, so here's the Lego set. Again, the name is Beware the Vulture. Ages is 7 to 14. Number is 760083. Let me readjust the camera to get a better look. Uh, uh, bleh. Name is Beware the Vulture, again, and has 375 pieces and costs $40. Um, so the price for piece is almost there. It's not quite. Um, I'm going to say most of the pieces come from the studs and the giant stud suitor, but that doesn't really bother me. I think even though it is th uh, 35, uh, 375 pieces, and cost forty dollars. I think it's an okay price. Do I wish it was like thirty bucks? That would have been better, but hmm. um, it's the same price as the Doctor Strange set and the Civil War set. So, anyways, um, again, uh, awesome sets. Uh, I only have this one, and I don't plan on buying the other Marvel, uh, the Spider-Man set. Not being, I don't like it. It just means because. The only reason to get that set is to get Spider-Man, because it's the cheaper way to get him. Um, unless you want to really, really want to get the uh, bank robbers with the uh, Captain America mask and Hulk mask. It is cool. I've seen him. Uh, Brayden has both of them. But, just not a huge, you know, fan of it. So, I probably won't buy that just because... I bought this one and I just got that Spider-Man, so I have no need for another one at this time. Uh, and the bank robbers, eh. So, um, here is the overview of the set. Uh, if you're wondering why there's no music around in the background, because usually I have music for my reviews, uh, I'm still trying to figure out a normal Marvel music uh, uh, for my Marvel uh, Lego stuff. Because I've got them for Star Wars. I've got plenty for Star Wars. I've got the Daredevil song, but uh, I like using that. But I don't think it'd be a good song for Spider-Man. So still working on the Spider-Man songs. I, well, normal Marvel theme songs. So here it is. Uh, show you the figures. The figures are in the same way as uh, the box has it. First off, we have the Shocker. Um, this character was really cool in the movie. I liked him. Um, yeah, he played a, uh, funny slash cool villain. Definitely a cool villain being that it was a new character that Marvel hasn't done yet. So, it's cool to get him in a Lego figure. Although, I do have some cons about it. But, I do think it is much... The, uh, the pros outweigh the cons. But, the few cons are is... This, the hands, I like it, but really, in the movie, he only has one. So, even though you get a second one, which is fine, this, again, this is just a little nitpick. Um, he only has uh, the right one in the movie. Um, so, and, uh, Brandon and I were talking, it was like, maybe, uh, you get one for the second one. Well, on the back of the box, uh, which we'll show later... You know, it shows him wearing both of them. So, I don't know. Uh, it's fine. Uh, another tid uh, a uh, nitpick is that the head, this bothered me probably the most about the figure, is the head is literally, literally the same 
as this guy right here. Same face. Same exact face. So instead of making a new one, they literally took the first order uh, officer's head and put it on this guy. Again, it's fine. It works. Just, I don't really care for it much. Um, no printing on the legs. I like the printing on the... Man, it keeps getting out of focus. There we go. I like the printing on the arms. Uh, those are pretty cool. That is exclusive. I like the uh, you know, printing on the chest and the back. Um, again, cool character, just not my favorite out of them all. Just an okay character. Uh, next is the Vulture, or Vulture, as it says on the box. Uh, here's what he looks like. He's got the new... Uh, there we go. He has the new Iron Man helmet uh, used for the uh, comic book Iron Man suit. He's got that. Look, I, I like it uh, they use this. Extra, it, bleh. it actually works very well on this character. Um, nice printing on the helmet. Like that. That's what he looks like from behind. It's got this uh, kind of... I can't think of the name of it. But yeah, it's got the stood backpack and I'll show you what it's for. Um, here's the printing on the chest. Uh, here's the back. As you can see, since after this translucent, it, the scarf goes all around. Underneath it is the same vulture head um, from the Ultimate Spider-Man vulture. That was the movie accurate, not movie, comic book accurate one. Same head, um, which works for Michael Keaton's character. But I wish they gave more of a exclusive tab, uh, bleh, exclusivity about the character. Other than that, I think it works fine. Uh, definitely one of the cooler characters. Uh, I am glad I do have him, though. Because I, out of all the villains I have, uh, I have very little Spider-Man villains. Um, probably my favorite, other than Spider-Man in this set, is Iron Man. Just because, as you guys know, Iron Man is my favorite. But I really like how the suit looks. It is definitely identical to the uh, Civil War suit. Literally, uh, here's the Civil War suit. Literally identical, other than the legs are a little different, but literally identical, other than this being gray and that being normal. So, but I do love the printing on this. It's really, really remarkable. The detail on the Iron Man armors are really cool. And he's probably my favorite, other than Spider-Man. Uh, he's got these stud, uh, bleh, studs, and the funnel as is you know flying around uh here's what disappointed me about this oh whoops that keeps coming off underneath is a translucent blue head literally nothing special just a trans blue head literally nothing now i can understand why because this scene is based off of uh, a scene in the movie i don't want to spoil it that iron man does come in but he's somewhere else in Friday's piloting this. But that does not mean I like that. Um, I've always been used to, you know, Iron Man. Uh, the Iron Man figures come with the Tony Stark face under it. Really wish they added it. Um, but they didn't. There's one, um, you know, one that was okay in the Iron Man 3 set where I uh, had the clear head. That was understandable just because uh, you could switch Tony Stark's face from the actual figure to that. Excuse me, but I don't know. I do like the figure, though. Uh, here is probably my favorite figure out of the set, though, other than Iron Man. is the Spider-Man Homecoming figure. There's Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man. I love how this, uh, the way this guy looks. Uh, this is the first uh, new Spider-Man figure that I have, especially with the uh, double molded legs. This is the first one I've ever gotten of uh, this type. I really like how it looks. Uh, the printed leg, er, yep. Yeah. Well, the printed on legs, uh, the detail on the printed legs, printed arms, uh, the print on the body, the print on the back. This all looks really, really cool. Um, I just love the way how he looks. And um, there's nothing really that I can complain about, just because one, he looks identical from the movie. Um, he also comes with 
uh, extra stuff, like a lot of extra stuff. One, you get the Spider-Man web that you get in every Spider-Man set. Um, you get the Power Blast is what they're called. These new uh, things where you take the figure, lift him up as a hand. I showed him. I showed you guys this in the Iron Man vs. Detroit Steel set. Where you just click like this, push it down, boom, it shoots. Uh, it's okay. It does kind of work for Spider-Man. Um, so, that's okay. Uh, you get this new kind of... I don't know. Is this new? Uh, it's new to me because I don't have it. Uh, it's just like kind of spider web. It looks pretty cool. Um, then you get this is probably the cooler one that you get out of the sets. It's literally Peter Parker's phone. It's so funny. Uh, the detail on this is amazing. It actually shows that it's got 81%. I don't know if you guys could see that. Yeah, 81% shows the... Uh, you know, um, connection. It's just really funny how they add Peter Parker's phone. So that is the figures. Um, oops. So that is the figures for the set. Only for forty dollars. Kind of makes sense. Um. So yeah. Uh, here's the first thing I'm gonna show you is uh, the first build is vultures like. Uh, I was gonna say exosuit, but like. Uh, his wingsuit is what they look like. As much as I like him, and uh, Braden disagrees with me, but James, uh, he 100 agrees with me. These are oversized. They're flipping huge. Now, don't get me wrong, they are huge in the movie, but come on, compared to a minifigure, this thing is way oversized. Um, like, this thing, this whole thing is bigger than one X-Wing wing. Um... So, it's a little too big, in my opinion. Now, it is big in the movie, yes. But is it this too big? Is this big? Uh, I don't think so. Um, if they scaled it down a little bit, then yeah, it would be size accurate, but a little too big. Um, here's the back. You got these, like, engines that you can maneuver whatever you want. Uh, these are stickers. I just hold into these... Uh, ball joints um, you got the stud shooters I'm not gonna show it off because studs go everywhere every time I shoot them uh, you got these like small little flappy wings on each side um, you got of course the junction wing where you can like move the actual wing to make it look like flapping or, I don't know uh, but this thing that I showed you in the back the kind of backpack I still can't remember what the name is uh, you just hook them on like that and boom again how much does that look inaccurate? Like, to a minifigure, it's so small. Like, the minifigure is so small compared to this. Um, although, again, I like it. I'm glad I have it. But the wings are too dang big, I think, in my opinion. If you guys think the wings are fine, you know, that that's okay with me. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to argue with you. Uh, but that's just my opinion on it. Uh, next, we have the truck. Um... This is pretty accurate for the most part to uh, the scene in the movie. The only thing I had to uh, kind of uh, like hate on this set about is this. This door. Like, I know uh, if you open it up, here's the uh, stud cannon. Just pulls out, shoots the studs. I'm not going to show you guys because that thing... The stud sh If you think the stud shooters are shoot the studs everywhere that does but like i can understand why because that's as far as it goes and you couldn't you know put it too far the door but oh that bothers me so much it's just because the door doesn't go like that it just bothers me it sticks out so much um i really wish the lego designers did a better job on that just because it's openly you know open and it just it's just really annoying. These things I can live with, but that I'm kind of, yeah. Uh, as you can tell, all over it, there's like a bunch of scrape marks, a bunch of webs, a banged in um, hood, more scratches, another web, and on the back, there's another sticker. It says "How's my driving?" and it says, you know, the call thing. But instead, they uh, someone covered it over, saying "shocking," because uh, this is like. Yeah, you're supposed to put shocker in this and it's a little joke, huh? Shocker, shocking, yeah. 
Um, again, the car is made really well. It works with uh, any type of car, like uh, especially uh, Lego cars and racing cars, like uh, take the Camaro, put them side by side. You know, the normal size. So that is what's nice about it is because you know they're accurate size. Uh, these things are not part of the Lego set. These are just uh, extra wheels I got in that car race car set. I just didn't want to lose them, so I put it on it. It looks nicer. Oh, uh, here's another sticker, just the uh, license plate. Uh, so here's a better look of the inside. Um, yeah, it's kind of bland. You can't really fit anyone in here unless you take the cannon out. Kind of bums me out because like, you you're supposed to fit another character in that. But yeah, what can you do? On these are like packages that have the same exact... Oh wait, no, they're not the same exact. AS46 and AS02. Oh, I didn't know this yet. But uh, they're just like crates. This one has nothing in it. And this one has... Oh, looky there. It's the little bomb thing from the Chitauri thing that they're looking for. Um, so, just little random crates. They just slide in like this. You could probably do, instead of uh, putting the crates in, take them out. And if you want, you can take the cannon out, because that really isn't accurate. Uh, you could probably make this truck, like, fit maybe three, two to three people in there. I might I might do that, actually, just because this is a really nice truck. And it all just sits up here. If you're noticing, this is, like, a shocker gun. I don't even know. This is, like, a, a gun the Tinkerer made. You just take this and the this and boom it's a gun supposedly I, I don't know I don't care for it, it just looks really random uh, close that up here's the front of the car this, yeah, that's where you put shocker you just sit him down as like drives his little sh car um, I'm not gonna put him in there though so yeah, that is the car. I like it. Again, <laughs> I don't like the backing of it. I think they could have done a way better job. But what can you do? Um, this back. So that is the set. Again, there's a few pro. Uh, there's a few cons. But other than that, I think it is a good set. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I'm not saying go out and buy it now. Uh. If you just saw Spider-Man Homecoming and you really want to get these sets, definitely go buy them if, if you're up to it. But if you're going to uh, listen to my recommendation, wait till it goes on sale. Just because, one, the Lego set is good, but it's 40 bucks and you only get four figures. And it's, it's the car is okay, could be better. The wings are a little oversized, but could be better. Uh, so, it is a good set. I just recommend you wait until, like, it goes 10 bucks cheaper or something like that. Um, here's the back of the box. I can show you guys. Uh, see? That's where it shows him wearing two, even though he only used the right one. So, uh, there's the gun. There's him shooting the webs. Here's all the features I showed you about. The boxes, the thing opening, the power blast. Oh, you also get a comic book. Where did that comic book go? I don't know. Um, also, what you can do is, if you can notice right here, uh, what you can do is you can actually switch the back of this, the uh, back of the truck, to have... Um, I'm not going to do it just because it's a pain to get this stuff back on. You can change the back of the truck to put this on, make it drag, and put the back of the thing on the one of these stud pegs. And make it look like it's dragging. Uh, I've already seen what that looks like. It looks pretty cool. But other than that, I think that's going to be it. Hope you guys did enjoy this uh, review. Um, if you did, definitely think about hitting that like button. As well as if you're at all new to this channel, um, definitely think about subscribing. We are getting new subscribers almost every day. Um, and I'm very grateful for the new subscribers. Um, as well as if you want me to review on... Er, bleh. If you want me to review any other LEGO sets, let me know, and I'll do my best to do that. Um, and other than that, I think this is going to be it. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.